In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make these fun, wobbly Christmas trees. And um, they're really simple to make. And of course, you can embellish these as much as you like as well with maybe little beads or, or pearls or sparkly gems stuck to them to maybe tie a ribbon around the pot. And of course, any fabric that you wanted to make them out of as well. I'll leave all of the fabric requirements and cutting instructions in the description box below the video. But let's get sewing. So I have nine circles of single-sided fusible foam stabiliser. This is a Bosal one. And my circles measure six inches, five and a half, five inches, four and a half, four inches, three and a half, three inches, two and a half, and two inches. Don't worry about these being exact perfect circles. As you can see, some of mine aren't quite perfect. And the easiest way I found to actually measure the sizes um, is to, to find, so you can, it's, it's quite easy to find something that's six inches or four inches round or maybe three inches round, but three and a half or two and a half, maybe not. So what I did was to cut the six inch circle, cut a second six inch circle, but then cut that a quarter of an inch just inside all the way around. So I didn't actually have nine templates. I just kept cutting them smaller and smaller until I got the nine sizes. And again, don't worry about these being too perfect. Your tree is going to be a wobbly tree. It doesn't really matter. And then I have nine fabric circles. And these are twice the size of the foam. So my largest foam is six inches. This one is 12 inches across. And the same all the way down, 11, 10, 9, eight, seven, six, five, and the smallest one is four inches across, which is twice the size of my two inch circle. So the next step is to take your iron with steam, preferably if you're using Bosal, and we're going to fuse a circle of foam to the center of the circle. Now, if you want it to be precise, you can fold your circle in half and crease, fold in half and crease again, and that'll give you your center point. And then you can just gauge where your foam is going to go on the top. I find the easiest way is to steam from the foam side. So let's just give that a quick blast of steam. And that's going to hold the foam in place. Do read your manufacturer's instructions if you're using a different brand of foam. This is Bosal and it does like steam. And then when it's secure, turn it over and iron again with steam from the right side. And we're going to do this with all nine pieces. Now I prefer to hand sew. This is entirely up to you. If you prefer to sew on a machine, if you find that quicker, then that's, that's fine. I actually quite like hand sewing. I find it quite relaxing, but um, that's up to you. Do it either way. But if I'm hand sewing, this is the way that I do it. I'm just going to take my needle and thread and make a running stitch all the way around the edge. And don't have to be too neat with these. They're about a quarter of an inch or six millimeters in length and just a little way away from the raw edge. Then when we come back to the beginning, I'm just going to pull my thread to gather this. I mean, none of this is going to be seen, so don't worry about the raw edges showing. And when it's pulled nice and tight, I'm just going to knot off my thread. Then we'll do the same with the remaining eight pieces. So there's all the gathered sections finished. So now it's time to just join them all together. So we're going to start with the larger one at the bottom. I'm going to take a doll needle and a strong thread. I'm using embroidery thread for this one. And I'm going to sew straight through the center of each one of these. And we have the pleats facing upwards. So we see those apart from the top one 
which is going to face downwards. So take your needle, and again, it doesn't have to be exactly central. Sometimes it's quite nice when it's not, because your tree looks even more wobbly. But if you wanted to measure and mark the center, then that's entirely up to you. So let's just thread all of these on. Pull that through a little. All in order of size, so make sure you get them in concentric sizes. Just the final two. Now remember with the top one, that's going to be facing down because that part's actually not very pretty. So you need to make sure that you get the nice side on the top. And you can see I've actually fussy cut my fabric, so I've got a leaf on the top. So through the center here, then I'm also going to thread on my bead. That'll stop the thread coming through. And then at the side of the bead, I'm going to go back in and re-thread the needle through the center of each one of the discs. Then when I get to the end, I can pull this tight. So don't make it too tight because we do want this to have a little bit of a wobble. So I'll take the needle off there and then just tie this part into a knot. Really want to make sure that doesn't come undone. And then I can chop those ends off. Now for the base, I'm going to use a little bucket. You could use a small plant pot if you wish. And I filled this up with pebbles just to make it um, nice and secure, nice and solid for a base. And of course, these are going to wobble and make a bit of a noise. So I'm just going to drizzle some hot glue over them to stick them all together. And of course, to stop them rattling That'll do. What I'm also going to do is just to bend these side tabs outwards. I'm not going to use the handle on it, so it really doesn't matter. And then a good old dollop of hot glue. This You need to do this really quickly if you're using hot glue because it does dry very quickly. That's going to go all the way around the outside of the bucket. And then very quickly, plonk my tree centrally over the top. So you've got a little bit of time to manoeuvre if it's not exactly in the centre. And take away all these strands of glue. And just give it a couple of seconds to dry. Then my little wobbly tree is finished. So I think you'll agree it's, um, it's a really fun project to make. I'm imagining these lined up across your, your mantel shelf at Christmas time. Kind of thing that'll put a smile on people's faces when they walk into the room. Hope you enjoy the tutorial. I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.